Uh, this is probably the most epic clip I've seen come out of China this year. Before you play it. Right. I would go hazard a guess that you've probably seen channels that would do something of this ilk and it has nothing to do with it. Mm. It's like just pure clickbait. This sure. is the opposite of clickbait. We're going to show you exactly what is in the title right now. Yeah, exactly. Now, bear in mind, this is the original audio from it as well. Okay. Okay, I'll just get us out of here, okay? And let's uh, play the little clip for everybody. <laughs> Zoom. Wow. So <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. Rick. Yeah. Okay. That's not good. Even focus on the fire. I know. Here's the thing, though. Okay. I have a couple things to say. You go All right. first. I uh, never mind what's actually going on here, Chris. We'll explain what's going on here. But if I ever go to hell, this is exactly what I imagine <laughs> I I'm going to see. Say. It's like you get thrust into the depths of hell and you see some eyes <laughs> dancing in front of just this inferno. <laughs> that is insanity. It but really let is. me go back to the front. We're playing this front to back because yeah. I got to explain a couple things to okay. you. I want to explain why this is wildly inappropriate. Sure. First of all, there is there are massive fires in Guizhou. Right yeah, Guizhou. The, um, apparently, the the person that I got this clip from who sent me this clip said that that fire had been raging for twelve days. <laughs> okay. Heck. Now, of course, according to state media, the fires have all been put out now, but there was something like two hundred and twenty plus forest fires and wild fires in Guizhou right now because they're currently experiencing drought. But get get this. Okay. Two hundred and twenty one plus fires, thousands of whatever hectares of forest all burning and you know like this crazy burning thing going on how many dead people do you think the chinese government reported two yes <laughs> two yes so not laughing at days, dead people like, laughing at the lack of reporting it's weeks unbelievable. weeks of wildfires you see they're burning right next to people's houses here yeah. they're burning all over the you know guizhou countryside where there are lots of villages who live out in the middle of nowhere but according to state media only two people died and they were both firefighters bravely fighting the uh the flames do you know why there are elderly women dancing in front of these fires right now because <laughs> the government goes on the news mm -hmm. which there is only state media in china remember there is no private yeah. reporting mm -hmm. and tells everyone that everything is completely fine. It's under control. Don't panic. There's nothing to worry about. Go about your daily life. Go about your daily life. So, of course, people that only consume that, they can look at the fire and they'll be like, well, party on as usual because the government said everything is totally fine. That, and you're also talking about AIs, who, by the way, that, do yeah. not ever fear the Chinese military. Fear the Chinese AIs. Yes. They are an unstoppable force of nature. Yes. Literally, you can see it right here. The entire city looks like it's on fire, and they don't give a damn. They'll keep dancing. They don't care. <laughs> yeah. And they, the best part about this, remember, mm -hmm. these are elderly women in China. They are basically a gang. Yes. If you walk by them, give them the wrong look, or you try to do something in their area, they will kick your ass. Yes. And they always listen to dystopian, sad, negative-sounding techno music. <laughs> it's, un, it's unreal. Yes. In that soundtrack with those tinny speakers. Yeah. Set to the forest fire in the background is, it's a perfect image of hell. I'd say the sixth circle. Yes. Not quite seventh, but sixth. Yes, this. If you've been to China, you know, you know these, these eyes. Yeah, you do. It's so dystopian. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Wow, though. so good. <laughs> Rick, again. Yeah, exactly. You just can't help I, I've mentioned this so many times on the show, but those eyes are such a menace uh, for local Chinese people of, as yes. well, obviously. There was that one guy who lived like in a building and there was a square and they kept blasting it like middle of the night really loud. And he bought riot control yeah. speakers that he mounted stuff. on his balcony. You know, like they use it really incredibly loud and he blasted <laughs> it to try and chase them away. They just turned their music up. They didn't even move. Because it turns out they use riot control <laughs> yeah, stuff they, to play They just don't music. care. They have no hearing. That's why it's so loud. <laughs> Put your hands up in the air. Yeah, Put exactly. your hands up. <laughs> so, yeah. It's crazy. 
Um, this was a big deal. This has kind of been very downplayed in it Chinese has. media. I've been trying to find more information about it because, like I said, the person who sent me that clip told me that that fire had been burning for 12 days. I'm not finding that in Chinese uh, media and international coverage. There is none. Yeah, so, well, nothing was allowed to get out. I think. Yeah. And I, Guizhou is very cut off. It's such a yes. poor province, you know. If I was to give you like uh, an update mm -hmm. on how much stuff's coming out of China, it's so much less than even a couple of years ago. Yeah. And China's just got such a good uh, stranglehold on how much information gets out now. Oh, yeah. This is great. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a Steam game called yeah. The Long March. Mm -hmm. uh, I Look, believe in English it's called like the campaign of light or something. By yeah, pursuit of light. Pursuit of light, sorry. Can you just look at that price? It's two hundred dollars. Yes. So this is a VR game. It's got seven user reviews. <laughs> what? Seven suckers. Yeah. This is a. you can only get this on the Chinese Steam store. Mm -hmm. uh, well chi Chinese language. Yeah. You uh, can get it on the Steam you can, so you can go buy it. But now it's only if you in want. it's only in Chinese. Yeah, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Well, you can if you really want to support this great nationalist game. So this is a nationalist VR game. Yes. Uh, which shows you Mao's expedition of the Long March, which is when... Can, the... can we read this blurb there? Yeah, go ahead. The Long March is a great miracle in human history. <laughs> you, you know, it's a miracle where people just hang around the mountains. Uh, the Central Red Army fought more than 380 battles during this period. It passed 14 provinces, crossed 18 mountains, mm -hmm. crossed 24 rivers, and traveled about 25,000 miles. Okay, so that's the review. So this is a VR game about that, that expedition, yeah. right? There's a big problem. Can you play the, the next part? I'll yeah. we'll show you a little video from it. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll ask you, do you think this is worth $200? Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yay. <laughs> you can fly the communist flag. Yeah. <laughs> Actually got some video of that guy. Oh, you do? The snow, yeah. Good. Where is he? Oh, okay. Here, here. So remember, this is a VR game. Mm -hmm. There's a coup de grace, though, that we have. Okay, let's some see. Info, some info about this. Yes. <laughs> you two can dig your fellow comrade from the snow yeah so go back to yeah i'll go back there this is a 200 dollars vr game okay it's about as much as a vr headset cost yeah and it's five minutes long it's only five minutes long <laughs> yeah it's certainly not a long march i'll tell you that much it's the shortest march ever recently it's uh <clears throat> been discussed on the chinese internet because people have rediscovered it <clears throat> or something okay because yeah. it's supposed to be all patriotic so you would expect patriotic people to go out and buy this thing but it turns out that <clears throat> it's really rubbish and it costs far more than 200 dollars when you uh originally it costs more yeah was and, that 350 bucks yeah or something? it was yeah. super expensive something so like people buy it and then it's only five minutes of content and then a blank screen yes and so they're all complaining online about what garbage it was but this is again this falls under slopaganda because it's all about being patriotic and all this nonsense it's five minutes yes five minutes of gameplay and it was uh it's yeah. basically a five minute history lesson <laughs> you know and it's very bad yeah well yeah the graphics are terrible and all it's, that somebody said it looks like n65 oh yeah it's worse <laughs> if you actually see this is not actually a great representative remember the one i showed you with the guy falling off the cliff and stuff that yeah. part it's hilarious yeah look into yeah. it yeah go yeah. look into it you'll have a laugh we are um, donning the honorary tinfoil hats i just look like a conquistador <laughs> or you something do, this actually is fascinating and dumb chinese or slash asian intestines are longer than western ones their main plan is to wipe out the chinese race oh how else could it be explained oh i guess aliens came down yeah i'm pretty sure yeah aliens came down and did like bronze work a monumental supremely devious plot to annihilate the chinese and other people of color see these conspiracy theories are actually crafted by the chinese, <laughs> the chinese government, government right to distract away from their own problems i freaking knew it what is the best material for a radio proof hat i think we're wearing it Gotta be probably lead <clears throat> don't recommend lead hats to anyone <laughs>